Do you ever come home and you see your house and you're just like, ugh. I get into these moods like maybe every six months or so, it's pretty bad. I like have to redecorate, have to move furniture, freshen my pictures on my wall and move my couches and everything. I've been feeling this way ever since we got back from Seattle um, over the summer, so since like September, I've just like really needed a change. Our front room was just stale and it felt awkward and weird and I wanted to change things up. So since I've been making a lot of changes, mostly just like pictures on the walls and couch arrangement and things like that. I thought I'd give you guys a little mini house tour to show you guys some of the fun changes I've been making in our house. Okay, so I used to have my pictures against this wall and I really liked the arrangement, it worked for me, but I kind of wanted to have the TV against that wall eventually so that like my big couch and the TV were facing each other. I don't know why I have a think about that, but for some reason I like it. <laughs> I am not an expert at wall collages, like frames on the wall. But I do have a lot of fun with it, and so how I do it is I put all my frames on the floor um, right in front of the wall. I just kind of rearrange them until it feels good, until I think I have a good balance. Um, I also I also just look on Pinterest a lot to see, to get some inspiration of how um, some frames work. I like never really have matching frames because I just, I don't want to go out and spend like $200 on like nine frames that match um, and that look good. And so I just have like a, mix and match type of uh, feel going on with these frames and I usually do all the time. Um, I really like Ikea. They have really good frames if you do want to get new frames. I usually get my prints at Costco. So yeah, I'm really happy about my photo wall this year because I think it turned out really, really cute. So this is another favorite place of mine right now. I just printed this big family proclamation to the world. It's really great, I'll link it below. And then I just got this letter board for Christmas from my in-laws, so I love that too because I've been wanting one for so long, but you guys know they're like really expensive, like the legit name, uh, le the letter folk ones. Um, they're like $120, so I think she got this one at Hobby Lobby for a little bit cheaper, and I'm really excited about it. But I love it because I love like the black and the white and the white with the black over here. I don't know, I didn't really plan that, it just went good together. So there you go. I actually built this version of the family proclamation. So I'm gonna put this up on my blog on ahappierhome.com so you can go find this PDF and print it out yourself if you want it. Or I don't know, it'll be a PDF or a JPEG or something. So go to ahappierhome.com uh, and you can find that and then you can print one out for yourself. So one other thing that I've changed about this room is the bookshelf. I put, it used to be over there, I put it over here and I love restyling my bookshelf, putting different pictures or knickknacks and things in your books in different ways. Um, I love how this one turned out this time. It just feels a little bit more simple. Sometimes I get a little crazy with my knickknacks. I used to do all of my books by color. I think it's really fun just to mix it up that way. So as you can see, I've done like a lot of blues and greens over here and then reds and oranges up there. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. This time I did a little bit of that and a little bit of um, normal just books down there. But I really love restyling um, bookshelves. I think it's super a super fun way to display things you're interested in plus knickknacks from around the world and it just makes me happy. Okay, and then my last favorite place is up here in Piper's room. I finally, I had these frames up without any pictures in them for like months and months and months. So I finally put some pictures in it. I found some prints on Pinterest, I think, and I actually created the, the Cinderella because I didn't have courage saying, I'm a little, I was, I felt silly because after I made these prints and put them up, as I was putting the frame up, I remembered that the Cinderella saying is actually, so I kind of flip-flopped it. So if you go to my blog and print that out, just know that it's reversed. I actually kind of like it better though because um, the, it, it fits better like word-wise. Um, the be kind and have courage kind of fit better as far as like my print goes like that. So it still makes sense. It's still the same thing, right? I love it though. I really love that saying and so I really wanted it to be in Piper's room. And then obviously we have the Salt Lake Temple, Salt Lake City Temple, um, which is a, a major icon in the Mormon church. And then I got this little triangle banner from Hobby Lobby a while ago. I actually got it one day or one of the weeks you know, they have like half off every week. So like every wood piece was like a dollar or something like that. It was awesome. I'm definitely like not a professional decorator. In fact, I have a really hard time and it kind of stresses me out a lot, figuring out what looks cute and what goes together. And often I get it wrong and I'm frustrated because I spent money on these things and it's a trial for me. But whenever I spend time to really like pick out pictures and put my frames up and you know, choose curtains and things like that, it really just makes a house a home and 
I believe, I mean, I'm a Christian, and so our temple is a big symbol of our church and, and helps us to remember Jesus Christ. And I, and I love having things like that up on my wall so that I can remember and have the spirit with me and that my kids can grow up seeing, you know, church-related art on the walls. And I just think that's a big part of homemaking and housekeeping is creating a space that your family can come home to to feel love and feel acceptance and and just be in a space that they can really feel like they belong. So I hope some of these things that I've shown you will give you some ideas for your own home decor and how to make your house a home. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below and also check out my blog, happierhome.com um, and I'll put these prints up on there and also my family proclamation one on there as well. And that's all for today guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.